On Saturday afternoon, the Otterbein women's basketball team took to the court to face off against the Yellow Jackets of Baldwin Wallace. This game was considered to be a pink zone event in which players of both teams wore pink shirts and socks for breast cancer. Attendees could buy pink balloons and write whatever they wanted on them. Some drew pictures, while others wrote down individual names that were fighting breast cancer. We pick up early in the first half as Chelsea Reed would hit this three-pointer to put the cards up early 8-2. to two. With 10.44 left to go in the first, Hannah Day would extend the Cardinal lead to 11 points with this three-pointer. She would end up scoring 21 points and getting 9 rebounds. The Yellow Jackets would try to fight back, cutting the lead to 7, 30 to 23 with this three-pointer by Amber Boyd. However, the Lady Cards would not let up as Maddie Miller would make this three to extend the lead to 16 with 335 left to go in the first. The Cardinals continued to add to their lead going into halftime with the score Otterbein 47, Baldwin Wallace 29. Coming into the second half, it was more of the same by the Lady Cards, as Maddie Miller got this layup to go to extend the league to 21, 54 to 33. The Yellow Jackets tried everything they could to get back into the game, but the Lady Cards were just too much for them as they continued to extend their lead in the second half. Eventually, this matchup would come to an end, with the Lady Cardinals victorious, 77 to 48. Afterwards, Coach Connie Richardson discussed about the victory. You know, I thought first half we had good flow coming out. Um, I, I, you know this team, I can't read them ever. Um, and they keep surprising me game in and game out. <coughs> Sorry, they keep surprising me game in and game out. But we talked a little bit about how we approach. I don't think we played well at home all season, so we talked about how we could approach that a little bit differently. And, um, you know, I thought offensively we did a lot of good things. I thought second half was, for lack of better words, a little boring to watch. Um, but the positive thing is we kept continue to do the things that we do well, and that's, I thought defensively we figured out what they were doing offensively, which helped us uh, get the easy buckets at the other end, and uh, just trying to take advantage of what they were trying to take away from us. Chelsea Cannon and Chelsea Reed had a big game. What do you expect from them on, on a daily basis? They're kind of our humor crew, actually. Um, you know, the, both those kids, Chelsea's getting better with each game. Um, she's kind of an energy spark plug with Maddie and Rachel when you bring that group in together. Um, and Chelsea Cannon's got to be smart um, and communicating defensively, in particular to some of the other kids, what we're doing, uh, as well as taking up space. And, and she's got to make her shots uh, on the buck, uh, around the bucket. What do you tell your players after this game so they're not overhyped for the next game? We're 1-0 after today and uh, when they wake up tomorrow we're zero and zero again so just trying to focus on uh, making the game before have a meaning to it to approach the next game um, and really the game after that means nothing so really trying to take a day-to-day -day basis um, approach with them and, and, and so far that's worked they kind of make fun of me um, and I'm okay with that it makes me laugh a little bit too but um, just trying to keep them focused day to day and, and uh, control our own destiny. We can't be worrying about what everybody else is doing. We need to worry about what we're doing.